Hi everybody, hope all of you are doing great. Just came in the bedroom and it's a time to hand rear the chicks. So what I'll do, I'm not gonna put the nest boxes in front of you. All I do, I'll just take the chicks out of the nest boxes, put it there, and then uh, we discuss about the quality, colors, the parents, what we budgie lovers, we do. First box, this one looks like a cinnamon to me. Another cinnamon or possibly a dilute because uh, the mother was a dilute and the father was dilute split. So I'm not really quite sure. Kids are not in uh, super good health because I think uh, the parents are not feeding them very well. So I'm just going to assist them a little bit with the hand rearing formula. So while making a video, if I slow down somewhere or I just <laughs> go quiet, then just keep in mind my brain is working or thinking about multiple things, uh, about the chicks and uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, that's the first uh, box. Done the hand with the, the chicks. As you can see, I don't really uh, give them a lot of uh, hand raising formula. I don't really want the crop to be tight. So as long as it's soft and uh, yeah, they all look, yeah, that's, that's how I do it. So let me put these ones back and I'll grab the next, next uh, nest box. The way I'm gonna be doing it, I'll do the, the one with the younger chicks in there and then I'll do the, the one with the older chicks. There are quite a few lovely colors out few nice mutations out so yeah just uh, stay with me and I'll show you really nice ones okay uh, next one which one will it be come on that's the next next nest box as you can see they are very young they don't need uh, any hand rearing they are fine the parents are doing good so that's the next one now the third one okay i've done this i've done that let me take the third one out so we have five chicks in the third box there you go i'm just gonna give them a little bit I don't know, I can see a dark mark at the back of this chick. I don't know why that is he bruised. Oh, no idea. But uh, otherwise he looks fine. Don't really need to give them the two young, but uh, just a little bit. As you can see, he's taking the food. I see the older one a little bit to the older one I think the rest of them they're too young they don't really need it so we put them back in the nest box and hand them over to their parents so this was the uh, this was the third nest box okay there's another one with a young chick let me see how the mother is doing so here I have uh, another four chicks, so all of them, they're looking okay. I don't think so, they need the hand feed, they're too young, so I'll put these ones back as well. Let's start getting out some older chicks. Some of them, they have come out of the nest boxes, but they still, still need uh, a bit of assistance when it comes to feeding. Okay, let me get this one. Okay, so what I have here. These are a bit older chicks. Very nice colors. So the father is a normal breed, uh, split recessive, and the mother is uh, a cinnamon, violet, uh, recessive pied, visual, opaline. So I've got, uh, this one looks like an opaline recessive hen, looks like a dark green or violet cinnamon green, uh, 
dark cinnamon green or violet uh, cinnamon green opaline. Very nice hand. She got a lovely face. You can see. Look at her. She's gonna be a really nice one. Then is a dark green or violet green baby. You got a lovely face as well. Then is uh, cobalt or violet recessive. Too young to judge. Then the cinnamon green. It's gonna be nice as well. So yeah, just give them. They don't really need it as well. The, these parents are really good. So, but still a little bit. Always keep a hand on a, a thumb or a finger on a crop just to get the feel of it. You don't really want uh, the crop to go tight. So, that's how I do it. I'm really excited about this baby. You can see it's got a bit of violet hair as well. Now to me it looks like a dark green violet or maybe just a normal green with violet. It's very hard to judge violets in uh, green birds. Okay, let me put these ones back. We'll get the nest Then I know then after this one, there is a nest I'm really excited about. So, take them out. So this is a nest, I've got, uh, these are lacewing babies, all of them they hands, and the hand has started laying again, so there's a one egg in there, let me just put the egg on side, okay, I'll clean the nest boxes but later on, because if I start cleaning the nest boxes it's going to take a lot of time, so I'll just quickly give them hand raising formula. And let's see. Okay, quickly. This one is a is a lacing split baby male. Gonna be a really good one. So lovely baby. That is a lacing hand. The markings they they will get darker once they mold out. It looks like an opaline lacing. So lovely hand. And then it's another one. She looks like an opaline lacing as well. You can see she got a lovely face. They're just a baby still with the parents. Very excited about these ones. So I've got a split male in blue and uh, two yellow lacings. Again, keep a thumb or uh, your index finger around the crop to make sure not to overfeed them. He's done. This one needs to be. There you go. Let me put these ones back and I'll take the next one out. So, really excited, really good babies, mashallah. So, really excited about these ones. Okay. Take the next one out. So what we have here. Okay. Guess the color. It's going to be a phenomenal color, this one, mashallah. And this one as well. I don't know if you can guess the colors on a camera or no. This is just a normal recessive. The old siblings. But <laughs> this is my feeling. Check the colors coming out. Now this one is a mauve violet golden face so let me show you the, the front see the front now so he is uh, you can see violet and then here you can tell it is a kind of a bit of mauve look at that yeah and the golden face this one i can't really tell if he will be a mauve but he's a definitely golden face uh, uh dilute looks like a hand as well and then this is a normal recessive so these are three babies another brother of them i think is a normal blue he's already out so if i'll start touching him because they're in a bottom cage out of the cage then it's gonna take a bit of time so let me 
just hand read these ones and uh, yeah very kind of I never knew that the parents of uh, these babies they dilute split so this one is a surprise dilute so now I'll be pairing uh, the parents accordingly possibly give each of the parents uh, one dilute uh, uh, partner to get more dilute basically so this is the nest box I'm really really excited about so that's the uh, the fourth one what next okay uh, I've got another box with the young chicks in there I don't think so they need uh, so I've got four chicks in there, but they're too young. They don't need the, the hand raising formula, so they're fine. Then I have a few chicks which are quite a bit older. They're out of nest box, but they still need hand feed. So I'm going to start taking them out. Uh, and I'll show you the quality. So let me just start putting them here. To keep them together so don't so I don't mix them up because they are been kind of uh, looked after by either the mother or the father single parent because the, 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 the their parents were coming uh, again on eggs and I don't really want to take any more uh, kind of babies from that uh, from these particular pairs because I had Enough. I just want to breed some different bloodlines now because I don't really want the, the same pairs to keep on breeding even though they're producing very good results. Now this hen is going to be a phenomenal hen. She's going to be a very good breeding hen and this male will be a show bird. Look at the size of the bird. It's a massive baby and uh, yeah but they still need a bit of assistance. I'm going to hand feed them a little bit. It's a bit awkward for me to do because I'm standing at a very bad angle because of the camera. But I'll, normally it takes me literally 10 seconds to feed all of them. When you are hand rearing the chicks, make sure let don't push the needle in. Let them swallow the needle by themselves so they can take it the right way. So if you try to push it in and the needle is not going in and you forcefully push it in, it's a chance that you may take the needle towards uh, the, the windpipe. So you just like to put it in there and then let it go. They, take, they just like swallow it by themselves. So that's done. Let me put these ones back. And I'll take the next batch out. Okay, one. Two, I need to go in a larger cage anyway. Three and four. I'm going to take the next one out. There were four babies there. One was a quite a bit older one. So he has already moved into a baby flight. But these three are still with a father. Okay, let me show you these ones. So what we have? We've got a grey. Very nice hen. She's gonna be a super bird. Very big bird. A lovely cinnamon yellow face uh, recessive. Very nice baby. They have good quality, good size. Very nice direction feathering. And then there's another hen in the normal uh, yellow face recessive. So let me just quickly give them food. This is one of my favorite, mashallah, very nice baby hen. Uh, they all bred from uh, normals, but they were obviously the parents were split recessive, so that's why you see two recessive babies. So let me put these ones back, and uh, I'll get a third one. Okay, 
here. What I have here, let me take these ones up. There's only two babies here. One is blue and one is cinnamon gray. Blue is a male, cinnamon gray is a, is a hen. Another very nice quality bird. She's gonna be a, oops, come here, where are you going? She's gonna be a super breeding hen, inshallah. Very nice birds, really like them. They're almost independent, but I still don't wanna take a risk because once your babies start going down, you just like don't hand rear them one day or you just miss it thinking that okay they're feeding by themselves uh, it's like sometimes can be very risky with especially with the big birds now look at the size of the baby yeah she's a massive bird so i don't really want to take a risk with these ones so as i'm feeding the other ones it's no harm just feeding the, the one you think they are eating already like for another couple of days just to be on a safe side that's what I do. Okay, these are done. These are done. Uh, last box, I think. Other, I have two more boxes with the young babies, so don't need to take them out. Yeah, it's the one. Oh, I've got a few more. I forgot completely about them. So, not a very good uh, kind of... At, at the moment, I really, really can't judge the quality. Maybe this baby will be a good one. Uh, this one will be an average one and this one is gonna be it's a hand as long as the hand dark factor still be useful <clears throat> so let's feed them I think the gray is carrying a dark factor as well I'm not really quite sure but it looks like maybe don't know This one looks okay as well, not bad, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think they're not, they're not been fed properly by the parents. Otherwise, they have the bloodline only because not, they're not been reared very well. That's why they're a bit on a smaller side. But uh, let's see. Another couple of days will uh, kind of give me a better idea that how good they will be. Now I've got a few birds which uh, were experimental pairing. Uh, I've paired up two more or one cobalt or one more bird, which I normally don't prefer doing that because you reduce the size. Now the parents are superb, but the babies, they are kind of on a smaller side. So let me take the other ones out as well. So as you can see, I've got, I don't know, it's a, it's a cobalt or violet. You've got a bit of violet here, but uh, the front is kind of cobalt. Then I have two more babies. This is a mauve. And this one is mauve as well. But you can see they are like small in size. And this is what happens. Like only I think one out of 10 babies or two out of 10 babies you get in very good quality. Uh, when you have uh, two dark factors breeding together, most of them they come out small. What I prefer in my experience and what I have uh, uh, kind of experience with recent years of breeding with the dark factors is like if you're going to be breeding two dark factors, make sure you don't really want the gray or cinnamon dark factors. Cinnamon is still fine, but the gray obviously, if you've got a gray and dark factor, you'll get cobalt gray or gray green it doesn't work out nicely so what i have seen uh, the thing that gives you better results in dark factors is uh, adding yellow or golden face i i did show you a baby that golden face more violet uh, he's going to be much better than these three babies but uh, again there's a golden face in there so when you mix the mutation like a golden face or the yellow face she will be kind of all right but i'm happy that she's hand this one is a hen or a cockbird. No, it's a cockbird. Well, it's going to be kind of 50 50. The good thing is, all of these ones, they are dilute splits as well. So I'll keep them and see what they do next year. Yeah, so I was saying that if you add yellow factor, yellow faces or golden faces 
uh, with the, along with dark factors, then you get a bit better result. So you don't really want to put gray in there. And keep in mind, mutations do have effect on the quality of the birds. So when you're pairing up, don't just look at the, the visual appearance of the birds. Look at the, what mutations you're pairing. So it's going to change the feather, feather structure. That's my experience. But uh, yeah, so my kind of understanding is whenever you pair up dark factors, make sure you're adding golden face or yellow face in it because you won't be able to add gray. You, you can add gray, but it's not going to make any sense adding gray to these ones. Okay, uh, that's it for today. I think the video has been roughly quite a long, roughly more than 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, I have like, another three or four boxes. But the babies are too young, there's no point taking them out. And a few of them, uh, they have started eating by themselves. So again, no point of taking them up, uh, taking them out. But I will show you the babies once they go in uh, the baby flight. I will show you, I'll make a video to show you all the babies which I have bred uh, this year. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, any questions? As always, please do ask me in the comments. And thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for uh, liking the videos. And uh, yeah, I do appreciate that a lot. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.